Wow, that's amazing. It's a bit sad we'll never get to see it again. Well, in that case, why not make a wish on it? I don't think comics grant wishes. Oh, one that size just might. Then, I wish to understand foxes, because your kind can be just a little bit crazy. No, no. Don't go wishing for something you regret. Mmm, you're right. Then, I wish for $10,000 cash. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Huh? Huh? Nani? Am I kicking it? Does this mean that she's me? I better message her before she freaks out. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Why am I wearing a skirt? And is that a bag of money? Oh no. My life is ruined. Everybody and welcome back to Anime Summer Night Channel for Otakus by Otakus. So it's I am Wolf Summer. And I am Kitsune and today we're opening Manga Spice Cafe and for those of you who don't know what Manga Spice Cafe is... Manga Spice Cafe is a monthly restriction box that comes with one drink, three of the latest manga all the way from Japan, and X amount of candy. And each month comes its own unique theme. This month's theme is... Culture! So, let's get into the box. Alright, so any idea what it's going to be in this box? Uh, as far as I know, oh, the only thing that's gonna be in the, like, for sure, it's gonna be, uh, oh, what's it called? The manga for Your Name, I believe it's gonna be in it. Because that was the preview of this show. Out of sight of that, I'm not so sure. Well, this is how it initially comes in, and I see it made it look super cute, as always. Put that to the side for now, and there's all the goodies. Ooh, all the good goodies. You gonna take the first side? Um, sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's start with a big item. I never do start with a big item, so I'll start with the small items and draw away. But this time, let's start with a big item. And the first item here, we got some chips. Uh, a snack. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I do see a little octopus here, and the, they got the little circle. Uh, if you guys ever seen the anime where they have the little octopus that drops the little foo, from the stands, that's what it looks like. Maybe it's like a snack version of that. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, try it out. And by the way, octopus, I really like octopus. I have never had it. Mmm, <laughs> smells so good. It smells good. It smells more like <laughs> it smells more like chicken than actual um, octopus. Mmm. It does smell like chicken. I forgot to show what it looked like. <laughs> I just went for it. Oh, that's what it looks like. It looks like there's these little green, green stuff on it. What is that, parsley? Might be parsley. Might be something else. But they're good. They're really good. Mmm. They're savory. You know what they taste like? Mm. Mm. Don't laugh at me. Those little hot dogs that you cut into the shape of, of um, octopus. Yeah, no, they don't. At least for me it does. And why? <laughs> Let me ask you Just something. Chicken hot dogs. Let me ask you something. Why would the shape of the hot dog change the flavor of the hot dog? That's how I always cut them. <laughs> Fry them with some ketchup. That's not in the taco, <laughs> that's a wheel boo. <laughs> Gotta copy the, um, the bentos. But yeah, that is really good. <laughs> they, um, I will tell you this. The initial taste is not very strong. But it lingers for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Like, uh, like uh, the snack is being gone, but the flavor is there still. Kissing is gonna go for another one. <laughs> last time, the last video, Kissing it <laughs> just went through half of the bag during that video. <laughs> so I'm not gonna put it this side this time. So what's the next item, Kissing? Next item is pillows, ube filled crackers. I'm not sure what ube is, but purple. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the reason we're, sh we're doing this box now uh, is because it came in late due to the uh, polar vortex over in Chicago. Uh, it didn't affect us personally, but 
uh, Magus Spas Cafe. I'm not like I'm not sure what it has to do with um maybe the shipping from there. Maybe they have a station over there. I can open it private again, right? <laughs> but uh, if you ever read the back of a Magus Spas Cafe, it says from Chicago, Illinois. I do believe it says that. So that's the main part of the polar vulture is a hit. So that's probably why it came late. And on top of that. We like doing animations at the beginning of the video to take a little bit of time. And on top of that, we did a little bit of a lot of time. <laughs> well, it takes kids a long time. And on top of that, we did the wrong animation. We did the animation for next month, and then we'll find out that oh wait, that was this box. We had to redo that yeah. animation. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how it looks. It's all purple. They look like um like cereal <laughs> to me. They do. Mm. But the crave cereal? It smells really good. It smells more. It's a cream on the inside, it's pink. It smells most like cereal too. It smells like uh, wheat. Mm. It tastes like a flavored wheat cracker with um, strawberry cream in the middle. Strawberry? Mm -hmm. Not grape? Mm -mm. That's what it tastes like to me. I'm not sure. Ube. I don't know what ube is. It reminds me of the crave cereal. That's what I just said. <laughs> Still but have ideas. <laughs> oh, this guy. I tell you. I <laughs> have a short attention span. <laughs> it is purple, whatever it's inside of it, but I'm not 100% sure what it is. I'll tell you one thing. I really enjoy this. That was a cereal like that. You probably won't last long. <laughs> not my house either. <laughs> Anyways, the next thing I'm going to take is the ramen. Aren't you supposed to have like a recipe for this month? <laughs> it's hard for me to like prepare a recipe like in advance because we don't know what's in this box is. The only reason I know for sure is if the sneak peek to the show has the ramen in it. But <laughs> there it goes, the ramen. And uh, it looks like it's a uh, shrimp flavor or prime flavor. I'm um, not uh, a shrimp. Shrimp creamy time yum yum flavor. There he goes right there. And usually, usually uh, shrimp is my uh, my preferred flavor when it comes to ramen, especially the spicy lemon one. To see all the ramen he has in his house. <laughs> well, anyways, there he goes. And um, you like, <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure what to say. If I can't make I like it, the package show it to on you. this stuff. <laughs> the whole golden idea. Is that gold or orange? Yeah, it's orange. so small, mice. It's like. Your mama, the way your mama makes ramen, <laughs> which is not saying much if you don't live in Japan, because nobody cooks your ramen except when like last second, like late for work or we're broke. <laughs> or both. Ramen, saving kids all around college. <laughs> oh my god. The next item is. Oh, hey. Not sure what it is. Texas corn. Corn. Yeah. I wonder if they're gonna taste like the um, what do you call them? You call them big Cheetos. Oh, uh, oh my boy, yeah. Well, I can't see a flavor, or at least I don't know what the flavor is. So I guess I'll just open it and try it and see. Make an assumption from there. <laughs> see how this goes. It's a weird scent. <laughs> it is a weird scent. It smells citrusy for some reason. Like a uh, lemon or something around the flavors. And I'm not even sure what it is. It looks like uh, fried noodles, if I had to guess anything. Let me take one. That's what it looks like. Um, They taste like puff corn to me. Yeah, they do taste like popcorn, like puff corn. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like it has a second flavor to it, but it's. It's barely there. I can't tell what it <laughs> so is. So, I'm not sure what the second flavor is. But they're good. They're actually really good. They're dissolving your mouth so, so fast. Not sure what flavor it is. We'll find out at the end of the box. <laughs> because they're good, but it's like a corn flavor chill. Gonna take a drink. All right, next. Three, oh, yeah. We got a tea. <laughs> Is that green tea? Green tea. Uh, like, uh, I, I do like the bottle. It's yeah, so I, nice. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. Yeah, I like the bottle. It looks uh, really nice. But anyways, uh, go ahead and try it. Actually, I think you were supposed to get a drink this month because I spilled the ramen in. 
all over the table last time. But since you were so kind. Oh yeah, that is teal, right? <laughs> it's the good tea. It has like this. I'm not sure. It's, um, I mean, I never like had jasmine tea outside of Manga Spice Cafe box, but it, it's it has this. First of all, the uh, the taste is very smooth, and then at the end it has like this mint, like coldness that goes right through you. Uh, it's like it's like mint, but very very slightly. <laughs> it doesn't linger like actual mint though, but that is delicious. I will drink it. It's refreshing actually. That's a unique uh, way of explaining it. I mean, <laughs> the, the flavor is not very strong, but it's there, and it's it's smooth. It's not something that just like hits you like right away. Something uh. that is more towards the water <laughs> side of things, kind of like a flavor water. But then again, it is tea, so it's mostly water with a leaf. <laughs> Anyways, but it's good. The next item is, I think this is an amiable. Yeah, it is amiable. Looks like it looks like he's eating ribs. So I'm not sure what that is. Okay, let's go ahead and open it and see what it is. Cause I can't see what flavors on it. I don't want to break it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not low oh, usual. It's that, already broken. No, I broke it whenever I tried to. It. It does smell like ribs. It smells like ribs. It does. Barbecue ribs. It does smell like ribs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually shocked. It smells, I was like it smells like like uh, sweet, right? It yeah. smells like ribs, and then it smells like honey ribs. Or, or it right looks there. like that. Ooh, it tastes. It tastes like ribs. That's it. Yeah. I'm actually surprised. It's a good surprise. I love ribs. I'm a fatty on the inside. I just love food. It's good. It's good. It doesn't taste... It tastes like ribs. But I don't know how to try it. I don't either. It, it doesn't taste like a ribs that you would cook in the oven. It tastes more like ribs you would cook outside like the, uh, in, the grill. in the grill. Like with charcoal. or Because it has a wood. smoky flavor yeah, to it. It does. That is good. But anyways. Let's go and look at the main thing. Well, the snacks are good too, but. Manga. Manga. And we'll have the manga right here. Oh, look, it has a little uh, bookmark in the back of it. Nice. Weren't you just talking about wanting a bookmark? Yes, I was actually. You were reading the Bondage Hotel, I believe. Yeah, you were talking about, yeah, you were talking about having a bookmark. But, anyways, let's look at the three mangas. So. To start off with this one, it's called Sotoko Inara. So there goes the front of it. And the art style is a little different, I would say, right? It's uh, nice. But anyways, there goes the back. Sotoko Inara. Uh, they, uh, the inside looks fine though. It, it looks it looks like, it reminds me somewhat of, um, if I had a guess, it would be something like Epipop uh, Team. Uh, pop epic yeah. the way that it's drawing or uh, towards the way um like mob cycle comedy. 100 it will be yeah it looks like that i don't know very much about the manga except for like two roommates i believe or students or something like that they come from like different backgrounds i think one of them is either japanese or american can't remember or the other one is israeli or something along those lines japanese student and a saudi arabian woman oh there he goes and they become friends and stuff like that, but so that that is really cool. Like I never seen like you don't really see like manga usually take their uh, things like seriously like this, you know, where you like trying to introduce <laughs> cultures and stuff like that. But that's really cool, and I guess I can relate somewhat since uh, I was born a different culture and live here now. <laughs> but anyways, there goes the first one. I play the next one. Yay! The next one I see here is your name, another side, Earthbound. It looks nice. Um, I actually watched the movie. Oh, there's a color page in here. But I actually watched the movie. I thought it was really good. Like, I loved it. I really liked the movie, too. I actually I seen the movie as well. Well, back when it first came out, because everybody was talking about it. Matter of fact, That's what to, made me want to watch it. Matter of fact, we were going to do a video on it. But you know how slow we are in making videos. <laughs> We're always late to the punchline. Yeah, it's not that. It's that usually our videos take a long time to make. We gotta 
draw everything because we're scared of copyright. <laughs> we draw everything. And we and because we shoot at 4K, you can't find anything 4K, so we gotta draw the things ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll fit. But anyways, really great book. Don't know what it is about. You wanna tell them what it's about? No. A boy and a girl switch bodies. <laughs> <laughs> they love each other. Whatever. Basically, there's more Basically. to it that it'll make you shed a tear or two if you don't have the heart of stone. <laughs> like me. Uh, but, kind of like a baby. <laughs> but it's actually a really touching story about a comic. Uh, a comic that goes passing by. A comet? Comet. 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 With a T. See? Different culture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the switch bodies and there's other things. I can't say anything at all because I'll spoil it right back if I say anything at all. But anyways, there it goes. And really good. Check out the manga. Uh, or that, the... Uh, movie. The movie is really nice. Next. We have this. Kino's Journey. Yep, Kino's Journey. And uh, I'm... Not too sure, but I do believe this is already an anime. I haven't seen it, don't know anything about it, but I think I seen this on Funimation in the, in the uh, stream. Pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure I have seen it on Funimation before. Don't take it at face value though. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure I seen this in Funimation. He's wearing like a, like a cloth, like a, yellow, like a yellow cloth or something like that. And that's like a dancer in the back. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not so sure. But anyways, there it goes. Really nice. Uh, as far as color patches go, just the one. <laughs> the one. <laughs> the one with the motorcycle. It's just really just one or two. But it looks, it looks, it looks nice. A, yeah, it does look nice. But anyways, that is all for the manga. And mangas are usually great. However, there is a bookmark for your name, and I love the ribbon. It has significance. <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll you'll know what it means when you watch it. <laughs> it shines and everything. It does. I love it. But anyways, that is all for this Manga Spice Cafe. And really, I like everything in the box. Um, again, no her in the other book, so don't quote me on what I say on it. <laughs> Favorite item. <laughs> <laughs> See exactly what the flavors were inside of it. She's so cute though. I yeah, she it. is. I like that she actually has to design her clothes. One like the other ones. Oh, it's Chico. Um doesn't have the snacks in it? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guessing game. There oh, it goes. there it goes. In the bag. Bag. There must be a lot in here. Lots of information. Alright. So first things first is the Master Con Green Tea and Jasmine. Then we have the Mama Shrimp Creamy Tom Yum flavor. The Oishi Pillows, so amazing. What are the made out of? Did you see? Um, yam, but what kind of yam? What flavor? Ube is a yam that when cut open have a vivid violet to bright lavender inside. The specific origins of this popular tuber is unknown, but it is believed to have come from maritime Southeast Asia, which is comprised of various countries including the Philippines. Huh. Well, anyways. So it's using desserts. It's a yam. <laughs> okay, next we have the Omaibo Yakitiro. Yakitori. Yakitori. <laughs> next we got that the Texas. is actually grilled meat. Next we got the Texas corn. Okana. Uh, Okanamini Yaki. Okanamina Yaki. Okonami Yaki. <laughs> I'm so bad at pronouncing this thing. Somebody's okay. like, how dare you call yourself an otaku yidori weobu. And last one we have the Kalbi Hatai. Taco, taco yaki balls. Call me high tie takoyaki. You have it over there. I'm trying to like not push it other way so I can read it. Okay, but okay. Pronounce it again. Call me high taki takoyaki balls. High tie. You made your point. Takoyaki. I can't balls. read. I should go back to school there. <laughs> but anyways, there is all the items and um and there goes the inside of it. We're gonna show it really fast but you can always pause it and read what it says <laughs> now the kicks in it has shown me that i can't read and now i don't belong in this culture <laughs> which is exactly the contrary of what this boss was trying to do <laughs> but anyways let us know what is your guys's favorite item 
what you guys like the most of this box and is this an anime? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know all day in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Anything else you gotta say, Kicks in there? Hmm. Definitely subscribe. We're trying to reach a thousand. Yeah. Help us reach a thousand. Yes. We got like a hundred feet. Self Pie, of course. <laughs> gotta throw that in there. But anyways, that is all we have for this box. As always, stay Otaku Pride now. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Hey guys, good news. The maids over at Manga Fest Cafe are working very hard to get us a code or a link that we can provide for you so that you can save on your future Manga Fest Cafe boxes. And I'd like to take the time to apologize for not talking so much throughout the video because I've been sick the last few days. My, vo my throat really hurts when I talk for a long period of time, so hopefully by the next video I'll be all wide eyed and bushy tailed. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this video and you want to help us make more like it, don't forget to leave a like. And to not miss our future videos, don't forget to subscribe. As always, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Links are in the description below. Where I post my monthly comic just like this one. And if you haven't seen our previous videos, you should go check those out now. I'm sure you like them. <laughs> what was that for? We're telling people that I can't read. But you can't. But that's my secret. <laughs> kiki, kiki, kiki. That's so hurt.